Hey guys, this is Sadiqi and welcome to our channel and welcome Parag to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi Sadiqi, thank you for having me. Welcome on my channel also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great, great. Yeah. It's nice to, you know, uh, more, have more of a combined collaboration. Yeah, yeah, totally. People are liking, I think. People are liking our yeah. Oh, you know, exchange. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good to know. So uh, today we are going to discuss about a Malayalam film, uh, a Malayalam anthology. And because anthologies are very rare in Malayalam cinema. Because we have seen anthologies from Hindi cinema, sometimes from Telugu, sometimes from Tamil cinema. But from Malayalam cinema, it has been rare at least in the last few years. So today we are going to discuss about a Malayalam anthology called Freedom Fight. So Freedom Fight is uh, uh, has been, uh, uh, I mean, you know, uh, it's one of the most anticipated Malayalam film because Geo Baby, I mean, the director who also directed uh, The Great Indian Kitchen is also involved in this project. So this is one of the main reasons why it was one of the most anticipated films of the year. And it is uh, available on Sony Live. So uh, before just uh, having a detailed discussion of this film, I'll ask Farah to give a spoiler-free synopsis of this film. So, uh, so thanks, Adik. So, uh, as usual, I have written a detailed review of Freedom Fight on my site, Popcorn Reviews. Please do check out that review as well, the link of which is in the description box below. And uh, the uh, Freedom Fight, uh, I mean, Freedom Fight, not a Freedom Fight. Freedom Fight uh, is a story of, uh, actually, it's an anthology. So yeah. it comprises of five stories of uh, individual protagonists who are, you know, grappling with their everyday problems. And uh, most of them are socially relevant against the show, uh, social norms, uh, which are there, uh, which are prevalent in our society. So uh, that is basically the one line of synopsis that I can say. And it is a common thread that joins all the stories, although they are not connected to each other. They are directed by five separate directors and there are five separate stories uh, within a span of uh, two and a half hours. So uh, this is, I think, and as you rightly said that uh, Malayalam cinema do not make anthologies. I mean, I haven't seen a Malayalam anthology yet. So this was the first, one of my first experiences. And uh, uh, the thing with anthology, Sadik, is that uh, you um, actually may falter in a story or two, but still you are forgiven. But here, I think all all five stories that are there, all of them score. You know, one of the prime reasons why I ended up watching this film was Geo Baby, who was the director of The Great Indian Kitchen, which was one of the best films of the year. Leave Alone Malayalam, it was one of the best films of 2021. And that prompted, and uh, that prompted me, you know, to give this film a go, having no idea about what this film was, uh, except for the fact that it, uh, a day or two prior to the release, I got to know that it is an anthology, uh, and what a beautiful film! I mean, uh, it, all of them score. All five stories have individual perspectives and individual issues that, uh, you know, strike a chord. All of them. And I have three favorites out of five, which says that, you know, like the stories were just amazing. You know, it was like typical Malayalam film, you know, uh, just putting just it's like an everyday work, you know, to just put just be as um, disciplined as ever and put your point across, basically. So uh, that is basically the introduction that I would like to give around this discussion. Great, great. So now I'll ask you about uh, regarding the music and direction, uh, music direction. And uh, uh, I mean, at least for the time being, I'll just uh, ask you about the music direction and about the cinematography of, of this. I mean, you know, all the key technical elements of the film. So what are your views on that? So uh, as usual, uh, they do play a part, although you can make out that uh, they aren't made at a very lavish budget. Okay, so and but they are still technically sound. The films are technically sound. The cut correctly. The editing is good. The background music in some of the films, at least, especially the fourth one, Old Age Home, it was sparingly used. It wasn't too loud or overbearing with the emotions 
trying to be conveyed through the music which often a few films are guilty of especially comedy though this was not a comedy uh, but having said that uh, the other films also have impactful background scores uh, and uh, when it comes to cinematography i love the fifth one the most i mean that was actually shot in monochrome so it is black and white the fifth story uh, directed by jitin uh, and uh, uh, yeah, jitin rajak thomas uh, yeah and that Uh, you know it is uh, it tackles the subject of a, a sewage worker you know mm. which actually i feel that in a country uh, even uh, in india as well as in pakistan sadik uh, mm. i'm sure it would be there prevalent there as well i'm, it is. I'm not sure but it is it is yeah but india it is definitely prevalent whether anyone accepts it or not and i think uh, since we are in the 21st century uh you know we can look for ways to automate that process so that n- no and uh, if there is labor involved then uh, the labor should be involved in operating the machines not to physically go into that pit i mean that is demeaning degrading and on top of that uh, you know it's not hygienic as well you know and uh, and, and i and, really felt pity and, yeah. and and it's hazardous and fatal to the life of an individual also yeah even the gases that are uh, emitted you know not in this particular story but there are a few who clean even the sewage is like deep inside you know so there are they are exposed to even poisonous gases as well and they go in without equipment you know there is a documentary i'm just digressing a bit there is a documentary on scoop poop uh, which has uh, sandeesh taking a tour uh, tackling the subject i recommend you highly to watch that documentary it's of 35 minutes if i remember correctly yeah and think... that book gives you a very real picture and uh, yeah. one of the stories that are there it tackles that year so the fifth one and that was one of my favorite stories i think uh, none i have not seen uh, any film tackling that and it just was a mind numbing experience you know the way the politics was involved you know at a very grassroots level uh, which was there in that story um and uh, the demarcation between the rich and the poor you know the richest of rich and the poorest of poor that yeah. uh, differentiation that was there was very well shown in that story so i think coming back to technical aspects i think each story stands out but i think uh, that one really was something else i mean i have not seen such a subject been tackled in a uh, any film rather i wouldn't say any mainstream film with any film any film or any industry uh, i apologies if i have missed out on any films tackling that subject you can let us know in the comment section below but i have been watched earlier before amazing amazing so now i would ask you about the performances i mean how for you were the performances by all the lead actors the performances i think were exceptional i mean rajisha in the first one was just outstanding uh even uh, the actors uh, who uh, essayed the roles of uh, there were key roles in the second story which uh, dealt again with a very primary issue uh, you know of a uh, basic necessity you know of having toilets in work areas of where we work and that too for women you know so that was the second story that was there and uh, i really love that concept you know they uh, did not sugar coat it did not glorify it or did not um, i don't know uh, over hype the problem or lessen the problem they, it was just so balanced you know that narrative that was there and it was again one of my favorites some amazing performances there with expert direction i think as well and uh, the third story that was there uh, that again uh, uh, it left a uh, bitter sweet feeling at the end you know again there was a, a demarcation between uh, so so the interesting bit was that the last story that was there that had a demarcation between the richest of rich and the poorest of poor but here uh, the the gap that was there between the society was a little less so it was like upper middle class and lower middle class the demarcation was there in that third story so in that what had happened was that uh, you know uh, due to a misunderstanding situation was created but then at the end of it when you say uh, you just 
it just left with a bitter sweet taste you know and you will understand i don't want to give any spoilers because many people haven't watched that film yet i haven't seen many people discussing uh, freedom fight yet so uh, coming to the fourth story which is directed by geo baby i think uh, that had those subtler and nuanced emotions that were there and uh, there was this interesting dilemma that was uh, generated in that fourth film uh, old age home which was very refreshing i would say and uh, it was typical geo baby film you know in which he Uh, within a very simple premise he creates those dynamics to you know uh, create situations which are which will make you think and uh, and last story as i said was of the soldier so all the performances in all the stories i think for all the georgeu george uh, in the film uh, and um, i think all of them were brilliant i mean i cannot say that there was this particular who was a person who was standing out all of them made an impact and they contributed to the film working you know together so it was just amazing and so now we are almost at the conclusion of our review so i would ask parath what would be his rating for the film so very rarely you will see that uh, before i come to the rating very rarely uh, you will see that in an anthology all five of them score as i said right at the beginning and here all of them make an impact whether it is the uh, the girl who is forced to get married you know i have many friends who were forced to get married you know one of my close friends also was that uh second again about you know basic necessity like toilets third the you know the gap between upper and middle class fourth uh while that old age home uh story that was there which uh the husband is forget he is suffering from dementia started in his first day uh fifth one the sewage worker i think there so if you even listen to these na there are unique concepts like on paper as well even while i'm speaking they are not interrelated to each other yet they have a common theme you know of uh, you know of social in practices that are there or social dilemmas or gen- general freedom that you are fighting in your daily life so that's why the name is freedom fight and it's like a lovely metaphor that is used here so my rating for the film overall would be 4 out of 5 and my ultimate favorites were the second third and the fifth one so these are the three that i highly 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 recommend followed by 1 and 4 uh, i mean uh, they are on the same level 1 and 4 and 2 3 and 5 are on a level higher for me so uh, it's 4 out of 5 overall for this anthology and it's i think one of the uh better anthologies that has come out uh, including all languages and i think uh, it's no surprise that it is malayalam film industry again at the helm of it amazing amazing again you can read my detailed review uh, which is the link is in the description box below in case you would like and yeah so the ticket for you so thank you so much farad for providing your review and thank you so much guys for being uh, i mean you know being so consistent and providing uh, your valuable feedback on a consistent basis regarding our reviews so thank you so much and thank you so much farad for providing your reviews on a consistent basis so guys i would also request you to please check out farad's review which is also available on the description box which i have I provided in uh, in the main description area so you can check that out and apart from that you can also check farad's youtube channel which also comprises of all the uh, reviews of different films and different things so you can also check that out So guys thank you so much and please like share and subscribe our channel and you can also provide your valuable feedback and your valuable suggestion in the comment section thank you so much and take care thank you